Hello everyone and welcome to today's awareness webinar understanding Hodgkin lymphoma awareness myths and hopes I am Arjun Sumit your host for today we are honored to be joined by Dr. Prateek Patil head of cancer department at Jupiter Hospital Pune to help us understanding this condition in simple terms burst some common myths and talk about support and positivity in the journey with Hodgkin lymphoma Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. So I'm Dr. Pratik Patel and I'm heading the cancer department at Jupiter Hospital Baner Pune. Uh, in short, to tell about my educational qualifications, I have a degree in cancer immunotherapy from Harvard University that's in the United States. And I've been practicing uh, more of cancer related immunotherapy and chemotherapies at uh, Pune since um, the last decade almost. Okay, so Dr. Pratik, can you start by explaining what Hodgkin lymphoma, uh, lymphoma is and how it is different from other cancers? So Hodgkin lymphoma is basically a cancer of the lymphatic system. So lymphatic system is very much connected to the blood of the body. Okay. And whenever the immunity of the body goes down, these kind of blood cancers or lymphomas pop up. Mm -hmm. So Hodgkin lymphoma is very specific. It occurs in two age groups only. Either it happens in the age group between 20 to 30 or it will happen later in the life between 70s and 80s. Okay. So Hodgkin lymphoma usually happens because of low body immunity. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why usually the patients who have a low immunity in the form of any other chronic disease will have Hodgkin lymphoma in their lifetime. Okay. And how common is in um, India and uh, which age groups are more like to, uh, as you told me? So Hodgkin lymphoma age groups, like I already mentioned, it's more in the early stages of life and then the later stages of life. And it is not a very common cancer, but yes, we are seeing more and more of these diseases as nowadays most of the people do not have proper body immunities because of the environmental factors and lifestyle changes that have been happening in the past few decades. Would love to know uh, what are the symptoms about uh... So, like I told you, these, these cancers are of the lymphatic system of the body. So, generally, you will have swelling or lumps in various parts of the body, like the bilateral neck or in the axilla or in the stomach or in the groins. So, any kind of swelling in the body should point towards a lymphoma. Uh, and that is how the diagnosis begins. Okay. What if uh, someone has um, these symptoms and how do doctors diagnose uh, Hodgkin lymphoma? So Hodgkin lymphoma is basically diagnosed with uh, the symptoms that the patients present with. Generally, these people will have night sweating, they will have weight loss, they will have fever, which has a tendency to come only in the evening hours and the swelling like, like I've already mentioned. And usually the first diagnosis that we do is we do a full body PET CT scan to see where all the swelling is in the body. And the next step is to get a biopsy. Uh, which is a procedure to remove a small bit of tissue from these lumps so that we can study on the lumps and further treat you pinpoint way so that the immunity of the body is not harassed whereas the cancer is also cured. Okay and uh, what kind of treatment do people usually need if they are diagnosed with Hodgkin lymphoma? So there are four stages of Hodgkin lymphoma. Generally in the stages one and two, the treatment involves a few doses of chemotherapy only, followed by radiation only if needed. And then the patient becomes completely cured. But in the stages three and four, there is much role of immunotherapy with chemotherapy, mm -hmm. followed by radiation as and when required. Okay. And how important it is to find early? So finding any kind of cancer is extremely important in the early stages because like I told you in the first two stages the treatment generally gets over with only few shots of chemo. Whereas in the later stages of the disease, one, the cancer is not curable and second, the treatment is very much prolonged which takes the toll on the general body condition. So catching the cancer as early as possible is always beneficial for the patient. Okay, would love to ask about myths and uh, myths versus facts. So let's clear some common myths about Hodgkin lymphoma. So the commonest myth about Hodgkin lymphoma, it is not treatable. That is not at all true. It is very much treatable. Today with the advent of immunotherapy injections, the body's immune system is taken 20 times higher than normal, which cures the cancer by itself. So it is a completely curable condition and it should be brought into consultation with a doctor and the proper treatment should be taken rather than falling in hands of, uh, you know, pathies or people who do not know to treat it well. Okay. How can patients and their families deal with the emotional side of Hodgkin lymphoma diagnosis? 
So Hodgkin lymphoma is one condition where are, when there are no cuts and needles in the body. It is completely treated with only and only medicines. So the family members and patients need to understand that they do not have any cosmetic consequences. So the treatment should be started very, very soon. And like I told you, it also happens in the patients who are diagnosed in very early stages of life. So the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma does not even have any long term side effects. Okay. So the patient's rest of the life is not at all affected. The main thing is after treatment. Right. Okay. So I want to ask you that after treatment, can people go back to their normal life? Of course. So for any treatment of cancer, generally in the stages one to three, there is no limitation of activity or work that we generally advise. Mm -hmm. One of my patients whom I'm treating right now for breast cancer, which is an aggressive type of a cancer, is a delivery lady who delivers food entire day to people on various uh, you know, social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And she's taking her treatment successfully for cancer. So what uh, uh, the, the myths that people have in their brains about cancer treatment existed 10 years back, but it is not there today. Okay. Last but not the least, uh, what message would you like to give to the public? So just listen to your body. That is the only loud and big uh, message I like to give. Your body will always give you indications of the things that are happening inside, especially for cases like cancer, which are very deadly. So you should always bring the symptom to your doctor and you should not, you should, you, you can always take help of Google and chat GPT nowadays, but you know, there is a limit uh, to the AI that we use. You should always take a cross consultation of the doctor for the symptoms that you have so that we are able to catch the cancer as soon as possible if at all you have it. Thank you so much Dr. Pratik for sharing your insight with us and thank you so much guys for watching this video. Stay aware and take care of yourself and your near and loved ones. See you next time.